up, Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Y2. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we made it here to Stryton City. We went inside, got a little bit of that Chinese buffet going, and by that, I mean we got beat up really hard by the Stryton City gym leaders, or ex-gym leaders. In today's episode, we're going to continue onwards in our adventure, maybe make it to Acumula Town and Nuvima Town, which are the last two towns uh, that we can explore here in Unova. Now, it's kind of fun going back and exploring these places, and, oh, alright, whatever. We got ourselves a battle. Let's go ahead and do it. What I was telling you guys, you know, we have these last two towns to go, and from there on out, I know that we're going to be catching legendary Pokemon. Now, I've actually got a lot of suggestions for you guys on uh, the next couple batch of legendaries we should catch, and I think I have a pretty good idea on the ones we're going to start off catching. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take down this Masquerain. Masquerain, Mike Rain. Today is Thursday, if I'm correct. And by that, I'm not sure. It, it's, I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. It's kind of weird how when you're on your break, you know, time flies by. Like, this is one of those things. Tell me. You, I know you guys have experienced this. You know, what the fudge kind of bull? What the heck? What is this masquerade thing? All right, what I was trying to say is, you know, one of the things I've noticed, this happens to me, and I'm guessing it probably happens to you guys, is, you know, you have your school semester, right? Like, you have August, September, October, November, December, and it feels like years. You know, once you're done and it's finally winter break, you're like, holy crap, man. It feels like it's been years since I've been doing this. I've been, you know, in school for eight months, even though it's only really four months and all of this. Then you get out for winter break, which is usually like, for me, it's like three, four weeks. And then before you know it, you're back in school. and You're like, what the heck? That felt like three days. That wasn't three weeks, that was three days. And we also got KO'd here. Wow. So how about not battling some of these trainers anymore? I would have tried to skip him, but we are kind of caught up. I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. Sweet. Oh, that was a good pick. Heck if I knew Vacero had that. I, I literally just took a random guess and we just happened to do it. You know, there's, there's a lot of dragon type trainers here. I don't know why, but I've been noticing that a lot, especially here coming down to the little regions of Unova. Like imagine if we started out this journey like two years ago in Unova or whatever, in game time, and then all of a sudden these level 65 Dragonairs start coming at you. It's gonna make the adventure a lot more difficult, you know? Sucks for all the people that are starting out in New Vima Town, cause you're gonna have to battle these guys. And that really sucks for you. Because we had to battle dudes with, like, Rattatas and crap. Okay, do you really have to Thunder Wave me? Like, dude, you know you're going to lose. Yeah, you know you're going to lose. Just leave me alone. Look, I'm trying to make it to Acumu. Mother fudge. If there's one thing I hate is random trainer battles. I don't know if you've noticed that yet, but I really hate random trainer battles. I think they're almost useless. I don't see a point for it. I'd much rather continue in with the storyline and, you know, do things by myself. Oh my god, a slow bro. Alright, at least Nagini just leveled up. This should take it down. This is a stressful battle. Uh, being honest, we've been battling it for a while. And I'm getting tired of battles. I kind of just want to get back and relax and, and, uh, chill in New Vima Town with, uh, the old trainer's mother. You know, I hear she makes some delicious waffles. Super effective. And who the heck has four Pokemon? My god, I feel like I'm battling a gym leader. Jesus Christ, Veteran Rain. Seriously, dude, I feel like I just took on a gym. Oh, okay, thank god. I was about to have a heart attack there. Like, I am not about that life of battling these trainers. Okay, with that, I'm pretty sure we have made it to... Acumula Town. So sweet, guys. We made it here. See, my Adino, she popped out of the swaying tall grass just to meet me. Oh, that's sweet. Look, there's an old man. Do you lack Pokemon? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you have Pokemon with you, so I'm sure you do. That was it, dude? I wonder which person was the first person in the world to get along with Pokemon. I don't know. You ever wondered that? How did people begin, you know, capturing Pokemon and Pokeballs? Who was the person? Who was the sick, demented person that was like, hey, you know, uh, here's this little cute animal, you know, and uh, I'm just going to make this pokeball i'm gonna throw it at its face and then capture it and make it my slave forever whoever did that you know if you really think about it it's kind of evil okay let's just think about it in a real life standpoint for two seconds okay so we're sitting here in real life right and uh you're running around and you see a cheetah you know you're i don't know where you're running around i'm africa or something you're running around you see a cheetah you know this this huge cheetah thing and all of a sudden you start thinking you know what 
it would be really cool if I could battle this cheetah against this bear. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna battle this cheetah against this bear. Who thinks this, you know? Who's like, yeah, that's a great idea, man. I'm gonna, I bet this bear can beat the crap out of this cheetah. Let's give it a shot. No, you don't do that, that's sick. I mean, you don't battle Pokemon like that. What kind of sick-minded folk do that? I don't know. We made it to Nuvima Town. Holy crap, hey, what's up, little girl? You know what? On my next birthday party, you're fucking going to Pokemon Pang and Mungin and Mang and Mungin Champion Mang 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 Pokemon Mang. Alright, that's that's good. Good for you. What is this? Is this the lab? Oh, yeah, this must be the lab. Juniper Lab. Let's head inside then and see what's going on. Boy, hello! Thanks for coming clear out here. I'm surprising how far Nuvima Town is from us, precious city, don't you agree? Did you take Sky Arrow Bridge and encounter a lot of Pokemon? On that note, how's your Pokedex coming along? Can I see it? Let me see. You've seen 189 Pokemon in the Unova region! Oh, God, that is awesome! There are various abilities, but do you fully understand them? Certain abilities make wild Pokemon come out more often. Keep up the good work. I have something I'd be delighted to give you if you meet every Pokemon registered in the Unova Pokedex. Check every corner of the Unova region for Pokemon. Do your best! Alright, hey look, a Mancino, a Minchino, a Chinchino, a Frappuccino, poof! Oh look, and it's a uh, Cedric guy. Hey Roger, you meeting lots of Pokemon? There really are lots of Pokemon in the Unova region and the rest of the world. I made the habitat list so people would know that. I'll bet you're here because you're here to show me your Pokedex, right? You caught 19 Pokemon. Yeah, guys, we caught 19 out of 600,456 million, 300 trillion, 21 Pokemon. Oh, never mind, there's 600. You have to be persistent and catch them at your own pace. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot to give this to you, Naspersia. Here, this is the Super Rod. I'm, I'm a Super Rod. <laughs> With the Super Rod, you can even catch Pokemon who live underwater. All right, guys, so we obtained the Super Rod. And I guess we did everything we could here in this place, which is kind of weird. I expected there to be a little bit more. Honestly, I kind of want to explore around, though. It's nice being here in this town. Hey, how's it going? Think traveling with Pokemon changes people? I'd definitely say yes. Uh, no doubt about it. I mean, just playing along in this journey, I feel like I've already changed a lot, you know? It's kind of weird. Even if you just play through the Pokemon adventures through the games, you know, I think a lot of us just, just feel like we get that change. Welcome home, dear! Did you find the friend you were looking for? Wasn't his name something like Ann? Huh? Excuse me, how embarrassing mistaking a visitor for my own child! You're Rodri! Yes, your other son was called Rodri too. I knew it, you just look like her! I know your mom, I met her when she was working at the Pokemon Center and I was a trainer. That's right, how are your Pokemon? You're always- Wait! Wait! Our mom worked at the Pokemon Center? Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> is our mom a nurse, Joy? Because if she is, my dream has been crushed! God, what am I doing with my life? <gasps> oh my god, that's sick! I'm a sick, twisted bastard! I'm a sick human being! Our mom's a nurse, Joy! No, she's not. Alright, we found a King's Rock. Don't know what it does. Hey, look, he's upgraded to an Xbox 360. Jokes, it's a Wii. It's a Wii, guys. I'm just, I'm, I'm yanking your chains. He's got a nice TV, though. All right, so now that we explored this guy's place, let's go and explore the other little house. I just thought it'd be nice to take a moment to check out some of these places, which I feel like don't get that much, you know, recognition in the games. Hey, what's up? What are you up to? What you doing? Who are these people? Oh, aren't these Bianca's parents? Oh, cool, okay. So Bianca's parents are still here. This is the dad. He used to beat the crap out of Bianca. I remember him. He was very mean. He uh, he would treat her wrong. And she... Ooh. Ooh. Is this where Bianca sleeps? Ooh, yes. Let's just hide under the covers and wait for her to come home. That sounds like a fun idea. All right. The only house left to explore now is Barry's house. Uh, if you guys remember, Luke's house. So let's go ahead inside. I think this is it. Nope. This is Sharon's dad. Um, I... What the heck? I guess Sharon lived here too? Oh, yeah, it was Sharon. Who am I kidding? Barry was in Platinum. Wow, man. I am just throwing regions left and right. What am I thinking? Oh, so your name's Rodri. You have a Pokedex, too. Sweet. I completely forgot it was Sharon and Bianca over here. Well, not much left here in Sharon's room. But with that, guys, we seem to have done everything we could at this point in the game, at least by exploring towns, you know? So let me go ahead and check the map 
one last time, I think we've pretty much explored every area that we could except the white forest, and I'm gonna save that for another time when our Pokemon are a little leveled up. So there's the map, guys. We finally completed it. We've explored every single town, and it's been a nice little adventure running around. Now, it's time for us to begin catching some legendary Pokemon. So if you guys have any tips or suggestions on what we should catch, leave it in the comments, and we'll figure that out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.